Good afternoon, everybody. This is the Children's Moment from the Clinton Christian Church Disciples of Christ. I'm Carol, this is Jessica, and this is Jason. And we're going to present you the very first story in the Bible from Genesis, the very first book in the Bible. Please listen carefully. In the beginning, before there was anything else, there was darkness. And there was God. Then God created light. There was darkness and there was light. And there was God. God divided the sky from the sea. There was blue sky and orange sky and purple sky and sky that was every color you could imagine. There was rolling water, deep water, cold water, and dark water. There was light and darkness and water and sky. And there was God. Then, from the water, God caused dry land to appear. There were great high mountains and hot, dry deserts. There were rolling hills and wide prairies. There were seahorses with sandy beaches. There was darkness, and there was light. There was sky and sea and earth. And there was God. Still, God was not finished. God created plants. Plants with thick green leaves, plants with wooden trunks and tender stems, plants with prickly thorns and tasty fruits, plants with big flowers, and plants with flowers you could hardly see. There was darkness and there was light. There was sky and sea. There was earth filled with growing things. And there was God. The world was such an empty place. There were no living creatures to enjoy it. So God created fish. Big fish, little fish, short fish, fat fish, long and skinny fish, short and striped fish, speckled fish, prickly fish, and slimy fish. Then God created birds, big birds, little birds, short and fat birds, tall and thin birds, and birds with short legs, and birds with long legs, birds with almost no legs at all. There were fish and there were birds. And there was God. Still. Something was missing. God created animals. Big animals, little animals, short and fat animals, tall and thin animals. There were animals that walked, animals that ran, animals that flew, and animals that crawled. There were animals that hopped and, and swam and slithered. There were animals that hardly moved at all. There were animals all over the place, and there was God. And there was God. Even though there was now night and day, land and sea, plants and all varieties of living creatures, God knew that the world was still not finished yet. God said, there are all kinds of living things, what living things are supposed to do, but there are no living things who can enjoy all that I have put on earth. There are no living things who can imagine or create. There are no living things who know the difference between right and wrong. So God created human beings, male and female. God made them in God's own image and blessed them. God made people in different sizes and shapes. God made people in different colors. God made people with different likes and dislikes. God made people who could do different things. God made women and men, boys and girls. God made artists and musicians. God made planners and builders. God made writers and readers. God made preachers and teachers. God made runners and swimmers. God made baseball players and computer operators. And God made you. God made a world full of people, all in the image of God, yet different from one another. And God looked down on all he had created and said, This is very good. And that's the end of our story, the very first book in the Bible um, in Genesis. Now, the Bible has lots of good stories, and if you want to have, have a Bible made for kids, I bet you can get your parents to read some of the stories to you. But let, let's now, let's close with a little prayer. And everybody bow their head and let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for this wonderful world. Thank you for the sea and the sky and the land and the plants and the animals, and thank you for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.